Hey there fellow soil enthusiasts, it's your friend from Soil Sage Chronicles and today I'm diving into one of the most exciting topics in gardening, rapidly building humus and organic matter in your soil. If you've been watching my channel, you know I'm all about practical, results-driven approaches that actually work in the real world. So, grab your favorite gardening gloves and let's get our hands dirty. I remember the first time I realized my soil was basically lifeless dirt. I was standing in my backyard holding a handful of what looked more like concrete dust than garden soil, wondering why my plants look so sad despite my best efforts. That's when I discovered the magic of humus and organic matter, and more importantly, how to build it quickly without waiting years for results. Before we jump into the rapid-fire techniques, let's talk about what we're actually building here. Humus is that dark, crumbly, sweet-smelling substance that forms when organic matter fully decomposes. It's like the chocolate cake of soil amendments, rich, satisfying, and absolutely essential for plant health. The beauty of humus lies in its incredible water-holding capacity and nutrient density. Just 1% increase in organic matter can help your soil hold up to 20,000 gallons more water per acre. That's not just impressive, it's transformative for your garden's resilience during dry spells, but here's what most gardeners don't realize. You don't need to wait months or years to see dramatic improvements. With the right techniques, you can start building significant organic matter in just weeks. I've seen gardeners transform their soil structure in as little as three to four weeks using these methods. One of my favorite rapid-fire techniques involves something you probably throw away every morning coffee grounds. I started partnering with local coffee shops years ago, and let me tell you, this single strategy changed everything about how quickly I could improve soil. Coffee grounds are nitrogen-rich and break down relatively quickly, especially when combined with carbon-rich materials like shredded leaves or cardboard. The key is creating the right carbon-to-nitrogen ratio, about 30 to 1, is ideal. I mix roughly three parts shredded leaves to one part coffee grounds, then work this directly into my planting areas. What makes this technique so powerful is that coffee grounds also attract earthworms like magnets. Within two weeks of application, you'll notice increased worm activity, and those little soil engineers will be working around the clock to process your organic matter into beautiful, rich humus. Traditional lasagna gardening can take months to break down but I've developed an accelerated version that shows results in just weeks. The secret is in the layering technique and moisture management. Start with a thin layer of cardboard directly on your soil. This suppresses weeds while slowly breaking down. Then alternate thin layers of green materials like kitchen scraps, grass clippings, and coffee grounds with brown materials like dried leaves, shredded paper, or small twigs. The key word here is thin. We're talking layers of just one to two inches each. The game changer is adding a shovel full of finished compost every third layer. This introduces the microbial army that will rapidly break down your organic materials. I also water each layer as I build it, ensuring consistent moisture throughout the pile. Within three weeks you'll notice the layers starting to merge and decompose. By week six, you'll have workable, humus-rich soil that's ready for planting. I've used this method to transform entire garden beds in just over a month. Here's where things get really exciting, and where most gardeners miss a huge opportunity. The speed of organic matter breakdown depends entirely on microbial activity, and we can dramatically accelerate this process. I create what I call a microbial cocktail using easily available ingredients. Mix one tablespoon of molasses, one tablespoon of fish emulsion, and a handful of finished compost in a gallon of water. Let this sit for 24 hours, then apply it to your organic matter layers. The molasses feeds beneficial bacteria and fungi, while the fish emulsion provides nitrogen for rapid decomposition. The finished compost introduces the full spectrum of decomposer organisms. I apply this mixture weekly to my lasagna layers, and it cuts decomposition time by more than half. Another technique I swear by is incorporating mycorrhizal fungi directly into the process. These beneficial fungi form partnerships with plant roots and dramatically improve nutrient uptake, I dust my organic matter layers with mycorrhizal inoculant, creating a living network that persists long after the initial organic matter has decomposed. Earthworms are nature's composting machines, and creating conditions that attract and support them is crucial for rapid humus development. 
You know, I've learned that worms can process organic matter up to 10 times faster than natural decomposition alone. The trick is really about creating worm-friendly conditions right in your garden beds. Worms just love consistent moisture, moderate temperatures, and of course, plenty of food. What I do is create these worm cafeterias by burying kitchen scraps in shallow trenches throughout my garden, then I cover them with a thin layer of soil or leaves. Within just a few days, worms congregate around these food sources, and their castings immediately begin improving soil structure. I like to rotate these feeding stations every few weeks, making sure there's worm activity throughout my entire garden area. The result? Rapid humus development that happens right where my plants need it most. While we're focusing on building humus directly in garden beds, having a steady supply of finished compost accelerates everything else we're doing. My rapid composting method produces finished compost in just four to six weeks. The secret is maintaining the right moisture level and turning the pile every three days. I use a simple moisture test. Just grab a handful of compost and squeeze it. If a few drops of water come out, the moisture is perfect. If it's dry or if water streams out, adjust accordingly. I also add a nitrogen accelerator to speed things up. A shovel full of aged manure or a handful of blood meal mixed into each new compost pile provides the nitrogen boost needed for rapid decomposition. Temperature is crucial too. A properly managed pile will heat up to between 140 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit, which pasteurizes the compost while accelerating breakdown. The real magic happens when you combine these techniques strategically. I typically start with the accelerated lasagna method in early spring, adding my microbial cocktail weekly and incorporating finished compost from my rapid composting system. Timing is everything in rapid humus building. I start the process about six weeks before I want to plant, allowing the organic matter to partially decompose while still providing ongoing nutrition. This gives me the best of both worlds, improved soil structure immediately and continued organic matter release throughout the growing season. Weather plays a role too. Warm, moist conditions accelerate decomposition, so I time my major soil building efforts for late spring and early fall when temperatures are moderate and moisture is typically adequate. Building humus quickly is exciting but maintaining those gains requires ongoing attention. I treat organic matter addition as a continuous process, not a one-time event. Every few weeks I add new layers of organic material to my established beds, keeping the decomposition cycle active. The key is never letting your soil go hungry for organic matter. I keep a mental rotation going, adding coffee grounds one week, working in finished compost the next, and incorporating fresh organic matter regularly. This constant feeding keeps microbial populations active and soil structure improving. Monitoring is crucial too. I check soil moisture regularly, especially during the rapid decomposition phase. Dry conditions slow everything down while overly wet conditions can create anaerobic conditions that actually harm soil health. Building humus and organic matter in just weeks isn't just possible. It's incredibly rewarding. I've seen gardeners completely transform their growing conditions in a single season using these techniques. The key is consistency, proper technique, and understanding that rapid results require active management. Remember, every garden is unique and what works perfectly in my zone might need adjustment in yours. Start with one or two techniques, observe the results, and build from there. Your soil will tell you what it needs if you learn to listen. Are you ready to transform your soil and take your gardening to the next level? I'd love to hear about your experiences with rapid humus building in the comments below. And if this article helped you see new possibilities for your garden, don't forget to subscribe to Soil Sage Chronicles for more practical, results-driven gardening content. Share this with fellow gardeners who are ready to build better soil. Together, we can grow healthier gardens and healthier communities, one handful of humus at a time.